Hi, Janice Winward from uh, Midnight Arts here. Um, I've just spent a little while mixing up some new colors, so I wanted to show you the new colors that I'm going to be working with in the next little while. Um, I don't know why I mixed up a yellow. I can't imagine ever really putting the yellow in, in a painting, but, well, I do know why, actually. That was a request by somebody. Um, so I have Artist uh, Touch uh, Lemon Yellow and another color that I really don't know when I would ever put in a painting is uh, Master's Touch um, Orange then I mixed up a uh, Master's Touch uh, this is Scarlet I really um, I've mixed up some reds before and they just look really orange to me in my painting so I don't so I, I mix it trying these two this is um, Master's Touch Crimson, crimson, and uh, then I did some uh, Master's Touch um, Purple Red. Now that's pink. I don't know where they get a color called Purple Red, but anyway, it's it's pink, but they call it Purple Red. Um, and then I have uh, Master's Touch um, Light Magenta. I also did mix up some more of the Apple Barrel Bright Magenta. So it's pretty, it's, so I have the light magenta and the, and the bright. So they're a little bit different there. Boy, my lights don't look very good tonight. It looks like everything's in a shadow. I'll have to try to readjust them. Um, then I did um, uh, Master's Touch Ocean Green. and Master's Touch Viridian. Uh, I mixed up some more Sargent Art uh, Gray Purple. I don't know. Oh, here's the, here's the tube. That's one of my old ones, actually. Um, let's see. That one was an old one. And let's see. We already talked about the those two and this is the apple barrel fuchsia that I've had mixed up that's an old one mixed up now I don't have I have had trouble finding a silver that I like that looks like silver um, I had this one previously mixed up it's um, Liquitex basics silver and it just doesn't look good in I just don't think it looks very good in, in paintings and um, and I have this one which is a, a metallic sterling silver which so that's probably apple barrel or yes yeah, probably an apple barrel metallic and um, they, just, they just don't look that good to me in paintings but I paint with gold and I like they mixed up a whole bunch of this master's touch gold um, and I put that in paintings and people say to me uh, Oh, I really like that. I would like it really well with silver in it, but I can't get a silver to look good in, in my paintings. Um, so today I tried a, a new one. Um, this is Master's Touch um, Silver. And so I mixed it up and I put some uh, Folk Art Metallic um, Sterling Silver in it and some Folk Art Extreme Glitter silver and I mixed those in in with it too I ended up <laughs> ended up with quite a lot of it I kept mixing and mixing and ended up with quite a lot um, so it's in a big bottle um, so hopefully I don't know hopefully it'll look better in the paintings than what I've already tried so those are the colors I'm going to be trying to paint with I have some uh, record albums that I picked up at the Desert Industries um, and uh, I was just going to paint on them. I wasn't worried about them because I thought uh, uh, Michelle at McKee um, Arts um, just painted on them, it seemed like. But I was watching some today, and uh, she showed me one that the, showed us one that the um, red um, label 
showed through the paint and another one that the paper of the of the label bubbled up and caused um, a problem with the with the paint so then I got concerned <laughs> about what to do with the labels so I have the, the album soaking right now and um, I will be taking those labels off um, or at least trying. I know everybody has trouble getting them off, but I'm going to at least try and then uh, dry them off and then I'm going to paint the labels with some gesso, some black gesso. Uh, I hope this is still good. I've had it around for probably 15 years and never, I don't think I've ever even opened it. Um, and so then when I get that done and get those all prepped and everything, then I, I will be using my new colors on uh, some record albums and see what we can what I can produce. So I will talk to you again later. Okay, so here's the first album. Um, I was able to just scrape the label off with um, just, I just used my palette. Well, I used my thumb first and then I just used the palette knife on it. And um, so I was able to get most of it off. I don't think there's enough there that's going to be bubbling up or anything. Then I took this sanding block and I just sanded off the rest and then I took a, a damp paper towel and wiped off all the stuff that I had sanded on there. Now, um, oh, I should open this gesso thing before I started filming because I don't know if... Oh, there it goes. It's going to open. Okay... Dry gesso all over. All right. Um, let's get a wipe here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on there. Oh, and also I did um, put tape over the hole in the back. I'm not going to take the label off the back. I haven't decided how I'm going to finish the back yet. Um, okay. So I think that's I'm going to do. Just let that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I want to put just a little bit more on there. So that's definitely not a smooth texture on that part of the record where I sanded it and stuff because it's not totally smooth. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then we'll, um, then I'll uh, come back and uh, do some painting. Pour some paint on it. Oops, where's my, all right.